Welcome, Wolf and Wolfettes. We are back with Snow Fortress on the PlayStation VR. And today we are going to be doing a brand new mode that I've not done before. It's called Fortress Mode. Now, um, in the last two videos, we did Snow Fort Mode, which is pretty much just progressively harder modes where you have to fight enemies, enemy um, snowmen inside forts, you know, and then sometimes there'll be like a really big fort that you have to defeat several snowmen in. Sometimes they have like mini forts placed all around different areas, so it's snowballs coming all different directions. We did that one first. The last video we did survival mode, which is a bit like Nazi zombies where you just face waves of uh, snowmen instead. We uh, we got to wave 11, I think it says it here. Yep, wave reached 11, so we did pretty well with that. So um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the main menu and I'm going to do the fortress mode. Now I've got no idea what the fortress mode is because I've never done it before. So we're going to do the fortress mode today. Okay. Now I assume that this is going to be like, maybe we build a massive fortress and we've got like our own team or something. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what it is. Let's do it. Hopefully there's a tutorial. <laughs> oh. New fortress. Wave zero. Oh. Okay then, I don't know what this is. Build your fortress and position snowmen to defend it. Oh. Oh, cool. So we, it's a bit like, um, oh, what is it? It's a little bit like Dino Frontier, the PlayStation VR game. I, I was going to play that on YouTube, but I never ended up doing it. Oh, God. But yeah, you have to place all of your troops around. Ah, oh, this is going to be very intricate building. I'm not very good at this. But yeah, you have to place all of your characters around in Dino Frontier. And uh, when um, when they die, you have to go back to your camp because you go on a journey to gather up. Uh, I think they break your um, your gold mine or something because you go on quests to get gold. I didn't do this very well. I knocked everything over. Okay. <laughs> right, let's do this. I don't think they're going to do very well. Control me by pressing the move button. Oh god, that, that didn't go very well, did it? Let's try that again. Right. Now I suppose can they can they throw stuff? It's very it's very uh close, isn't it? Right, maybe that'll do, because I think they can throw their snowballs over the over the building. Like I said, I've never done this mode before, so uh, don't get too angry with me. Let's... Right, let's try now. It's just going to be watching, really, isn't it? Yeah, they can... Uh-oh. Okay, that's uh Oh what are you two doing? Why can't you throw your snowballs over the uh over the fault like you do in the um computer mode? Cause when I play this on my own and I'm fighting against the snowmen myself, they throw their snowballs right over their fortress and it whacks me in the face, you know. But these two guys right here are not very good. You're actually pretty terrible. Alright, let's uh I suppose we could just adjust it where we have like a just a, a straight up wall, you know, with little like peaky holes. Because I suppose they're going to be better at aiming than me, aren't they? There's a lot of noise in the background that's sort of distracting me, so I do apologise if my commentary isn't like great. Just loads of noise. Because I record my videos in a row normally, 
several videos in a row. So I'm still recording this on the same day as the last two. So uh, there's lots of noise from the disco. So it's distracting. Right, let's see how we do now. Can I throw balls as well? It'd be good if I could throw balls. Yeah, they they it, it, they do. Oh, oh, what'd you do? What'd you do that for? <laughs> it's all up to you, mate. Come on, beast snowman, you can do it. There we go, lovely. One v one. Don't you get hit, whatever you do. Oh no, he's got friends. What a cheater. That's it. Go on, mate. You can do it. You don't need any help, do you? You're the real MVP. Oh, go on, go on. Hit him in the face. Oh, no. Don't you dare fall over. I've got your back. Don't worry. I'll, I'll hold you up. You'll be all right. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. It's about even, even Steven at the moment. Go on. That's it. You're in the lead now. You're in the lead, my friend. You could do it. Oh, don't you dare fall off. No, don't you. Don't you dare. Oh, come on. If you die, you're off the team. Well done. Well done, mate. Well done. I've got a trophy as well. Oh, fantastic. Have a carrot. Here you go. <laughs> okay, next level. Still only two snowmen. Alright, I, I need to adjust this wall. It's, it's, it's quite hard to, like, place everything very, very uh, intricately, you know, because it's, it's so, you've got to be so careful to not knock over the whole building, you know. <laughs> yeah, actually, this could be pretty good. The problem with placing them up high, like if you put the snowmen up high, oh look, he's got a shield now. I guess he was the MVP. The problem with placing them up high is if the building falls, then they die. So we'll have to try and catch them. Let's do this. Don't you fall, mate. Oh, they've got shields as well. That's not good. What are you waiting for? Come on. I have to hit them from this range normally. Come on. Come on, you slackers. Da, 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 da. No one seems to be shooting at the moment. Well, from my side, anyway. Oh, there we go. Finally. He's got a nice aerial position, and he's got, like, a more defense defensive position. Because he's got the brick wall protecting, like, this half of his body, and then he's got the shield protecting this little gap. So, he's in a good situation. If he gets smacked in the face and he falls off this ledge, I'm, I'm going to be doomed. Because every time you build this fortress up, it gets it stays like this for the next turn. It'd be good if we had a third snowman, though. I reckon that would be fair. Oh! Oh, no! I punched him! I hope that wasn't me. Oh, don't you dare, mate. It's all up to you now. Come on. You got a shield. How are you taking so much damage? That's it. That's it. Go on. You could do it. This guy's a legend. If you can kill this guy, you've won me two fights. <gasps> oh, well done. What an absolute legend. Well done, my friend. Well done. You are the top snowman. You're the snowman from that movie. Oh, what's it called? The snowman movie. It's got that cool song in it. I think it's called The Snowman. So it's not even hard to explain it. There's a snowman film called The Snowman. <laughs> it's a very old film. They made one called Father Christmas as well. Ah, oh, here we go. We've got the third MVP now. Let's make this place a bit more snuggly. Lovely. Let's build up this area a bit more. Lovely. I'm going to slowly build this area up here so there's like a little seat, you know. So then eventually, if he if there's like a wall behind him, if there's, there's, if there's a wall behind him and he gets pushed back, he shouldn't fall, you know. Uh, 
I guess he's going to have to go there. I don't know if my, I don't know if the MVP is going to survive this one. This might be his last battle. I should have probably put him here again, shouldn't I? But never mind. Right, come on, boys. I've got you all. I've got you all strategically placed. Right, you should be all right. At least they're shooting straight away this time. Hey, don't, watch out, you. Watch out. Oh, we took one. Oh no. Oh no. I knew I shouldn't have moved him. Oh no, we've lost. Oh, we lost Beast Snowman. He's down. He's dead. He's gone. <laughs> I suppose he'll be back for the next battle, but he's let us down. He has let us down. This one's a lot more relaxing, isn't it? Shame about that dude and his shield, though. We can't take him down. But yeah, I've recorded all three of these videos in 60 FPS, and like I told you guys in the first video, my capture card isn't working very well, so 60 FPS, I might have like screwed myself over, really, because none of these videos might work. I mean, it does record, but the audio goes out of sync. Now, this ain't really the kind of game where it should matter too much, you know, because there's not loads of dialogue and stuff like that, but if... If the gameplay audio sounds a bit off to you guys, it will be because I've recorded in 60 FPS and the capture cards don't work right anymore. Because I used to be able to record in 60 FPS full full quality. I might as well talk about this because I've got nothing to do at the moment. Uh, full quality and it would work perfectly, you know. And even if I had like Google Chrome was left on, it would work fine. Now, I have to set things up where the quality is at medium. And if anything pops up during recording, like, I don't know, some sort of security, like McAfee, or um, if, like, a CC cleaner pops up or something like that, it will make the recording break. That's how fickle it is now. It's terrible. So the fact that I've... Oh, well done. We caught you. But the fact I've gone up to 60 FPS could have screwed it. So if the, um, if the audio for this uh, gameplay is a little bit out of sync, that's going to be why. Because the longer I record, the audio progressively gets worse, you know? I had this problem loads during the Walking Dead playthrough and Crash Bandicoot and eventually I managed to sort it and it's been alright practically the rest of the time really. But I've also not been recording in 60 FPS so we're after to, oh no, we are after to see how it goes. Oh come on mate, don't, no. Oh that was close. Come on please. Ah! Damn it! Oh, okay, we'll try this again. I'll put you back up there because that seemed to be a good position. I think you're going to go back here because you do better there. Oh no, my wall's gone. That should be alright. Let's do it. I suppose whilst they're fighting, I can like sort out my base a little bit. There is so much noise from that disco near my house, it's terrible. I mean, all three of them are alive at the moment. We've got two people at an elevated position, so they're, they're, they're providing air support. And then we've got the armor. Oh no! Oh! And then we've got the armored guy, who's pretty much our tank, the real MVP, B Snowman. He's fighting them all off. Should tell you what would be fantastic though, if this had multiplayer. So like you could build your own forts and there was like, I don't know, maybe four players, you know, one person per corner and then you'll build your forts for like a minute and then you have to fight each other. That would be great. That would be pretty good. I don't know if they are working on multiplayer or not. I think I read it on their uh, website on Mythical Games, Mythical City Games. I think I saw it on their website, but I might have been mistaken, I don't know. I don't know if they're actually doing it or if they're considering it or not, so... If you are considering it, uh, Mythical City Games, it would be it would be a good idea. Because I reckon this would be pretty fun in multiplayer. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no, the game's glitched. Yeah, I've gone all laggy as hell. Oh, this is not good. I don't want to move my head at the moment because sometimes it fixes itself. But if you start looking around, it goes to hell. 
I don't know what you guys are seeing right now, but it probably is all blurry and like weird. Oh dear, what's the uh, time? Oh dear. <laughs> I've got about four minutes left of this video, so I don't really want to end it now, because then I've like took off a quarter of the video. Oh my god! Ah, damn it. Okay, well. I'm going to have to end it now, Wolf of Wolf X, because it's going to take me a while to get back on and set everything up. So yeah, sorry this is a bit shorter. Thanks for watching, Wolf of Wolf Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And once again, thanks to Mythical City Games for the uh, code. It's a great game, but you know, I don't like things like this. I don't like crashes. That doesn't that doesn't please Beowulf, especially when I'm recording. <laughs> like, share, and join the pack today. Oh!